Hey, it's Ash from Woody at Curtains, and today we'd like to show you how to measure for some eyelet curtains similar to these ones we've got here. For this, you are going to need a metal tape measure, a pen or pencil, and also some paper. First thing to check is the pole's the right height. It's important when you look at the window recess here, the pole sits four or five inches above it. It doesn't look very nice because like the eyelets can show through, let light through and things like that. If you've got a low pole like that, you're probably better to use a curtain track and a pelmet or something similar. So first of all, before you take any measurements, check the pole is four or five inches above the recess around about here. So then it looks like it's in proportion and everything. And double check your pole is at least 20 centimetres wider than where your window recess is. A common mistake some people make is they make the pole the same width as the window recess or very similar. So it finishes around about here. But this means when you draw the eyelet curtains, it blocks out. It's in front of the glass. It blocks out plenty of light and it looks awful. It doesn't look like it's set up at all properly. So always make sure the pole is 20 centimetres each side there so it hangs nice. When you're deciding where to finish your curtains from, the first thing you need to do is check the radiators. You need to make sure your curtains aren't going to hit the radiators as they go along or they look awful. So you want to make sure there's at least a couple of inch clearance there. And like if you look at these ones here in this, in this window, there's about 21 centimetres or 8 inches below. But anything between 15 centimetres or below, it would look great. Just make sure you don't hit the radiators. There is three centimetres, see there, three centimetres between the top of the pole and the eyelet curtains. You need to measure to the top of the pole to where you want them to finish and then add on three centimetres to this bit here so you know the overall height of the curtain. Okay, so here's an example of full length eyelet curtains. You want to take a measurement one centimetre above the floor so they don't drag on the floor and then go to the top of the curtain pole and then add on three centimetres and that will give you the curtain height. When measuring the width, go from inside the finial, which is the decorative piece on the end, and go and you're all the way to the other end. And you can see here, you finish at this point here. So this would be 233 centimetres wide. We also have another video which says what width eyelet curtain to use according to the pole. So please watch that one. That's in the link below. And if you have liked this video, it would be awesome if you could smash the like button and give us a subscribe. Thank you. 